You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures. <laughs> Madness. Run me over. Run me over. You want us to break my legs, right? Man, sometimes he is more yala. Iwagala. Yeah? What's this madness for? What's going on? Do you want me to run you over? You haven't seen madness yet. I dare again. you to try. I dare you to try. You think I did not hear? I heard Unduke telling you to, that that demon girl was waiting for you. Go! Go meet her. But first, you have to run me over. What is going on here? Your Majesty, go man your throne. Go to your throne and sit there. This is my marriage. My Let friend, me fix it. Keep quiet. Why do you have to stop your husband from going out? Go back to your throne. Leave me to deal with my marriage. Please. Majesty, you're wrong that you're talking to like that. Right? Bro, I am behind you. Run her over. What? I said, run her over. Okay. I am behind you. Okay. Will you shut I am behind you. Run me over, child. Run her Show over. me you're a man. Wait, run, run me over. Run you want. Chance to run the wife over? The only daughter of King Ojadike? Dad, Charles has important place to go. Run her over. I am behind you. And I said, keep quiet! What is wrong with you? And you, Charles, if your wife does not want you to go out, respect yourself as a man. Go back and rest. Why can't you respect your wife? Right. Dad. That's what I'm uh. saying. Charles has important place to go. Who are you to challenge me? Charles, come back. Come Who on, run me over. Me? Charles, be a man. Run me over. You're a man, right? Come run me over. Charles, come and be a man. No! Run you're not a man, Charles. Look at the one that also that is solidly behind someone. The one that is waiting. The one that is solidly behind. Over. Come now, come and run me over. Charles, come and be come a man. Come on, useless fool. Run her over. Run her over. Come and be a man. Look at the support. Look at the one that also. You come and run me over. See how he is. Come, come run me over yourself. Useless idiots. Nonsense princess. Fools. Look at those ones. Crown crutches everywhere. Are you still there? Animals! Idiot! I asked you to not get not to get this eye. This this not to get! Not to get idiot! Not to get! When I tell you to do anything, you do it! Animals! Get back inside! Idiot! You can be a man, not even for once! One of gossip! Gossipers! And why are you laughing you? Is that what you were asked to do? You're supposed to protect the king. Let me see you laugh the next time, idiot. Charles is married? Who told you that? Yes, I know his wife and his girlfriend. So, where are you going? She didn't have a customer.
This is all my poor mother and I can afford. What have you come here to do? I heard you are Chelsea's wife. Yes. And your daughter is that bug that wouldn't let him be. I've come to give you a word to her. My daughter and Charles are just friends and nothing more. Tell your daughter to fish where small fishes like her kind are found. This will be the last time I will say this. She, she doesn't look to me like Charles's wife. How does she look like then? A desperate and troublesome woman who is trying to force herself on him. She's cocky and prideful. Exactly. You have to stay away from her, man. I don't trust her. Let's go. No matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what the petrukuku may enjoy, man will propose God will dispose So who can change it? The minds of the gods. For the gods are wise. The gods are wise. What are you doing in my kitchen with those smelly sores and scars? My Cooking? Princess. My princess, the power of God and Prince will be very hungry. Henceforth, you're not allowed into the kitchen till those smelling sores of yours are totally healed. Now, get out. Leave. Get out! Oh, this is horrible. Oh. That is definitely going into the trash. Ah. And I think someone needs to come use some air freshener. Yeah, and a disinfectant at that, yes. I need to sterilize this whole place. I can't deal with all of this. That trash, definitely. Your life is rude and arrogant. I see Pamela paid your visit and she must be very hard on you. I apologize for... Um... It's fine. My mother and I have gone past it. Oh. That must make your mother feel so bad. It actually made her feel worse. Oh. I'm sorry about that. I never told you about her. It's all right. Maybe if you had told me, you wouldn't have been friends. Do you hate me now? I don't hate anyone. But I have to be my mother's wish. About what? 
I stay away from you. Bielum, you make me happy. Happier than anyone on this planet Earth. I have to go now. So, you're not going to do anything about that Buka girl that wants to steal your husband from you? Lizzie. I am royalty. I am Princess Pamela. I don't mix with low lives. As for Charles, hmm, I'm still fashioning how best to deal with him. If I were you, I will act faster than fast. If what you told me is true, that girl I saw today is way prettier than both of us combined. A man that has eye on pretty girls will do everything to keep her. I think your eyesight is beginning to dim a bit because trust me, she's nothing compared to me. She doesn't hold a torchlight to me, so just forget it, okay? I know what I'm doing. If you say so, but shine your eyes. Always. It's only a more powerful bulldog or its owner that makes a fierce bulldog tame and stick its tail in between its legs. But in this case, we both know it's not its owner. Then, it's certainly another bulldog. Or even a more powerful bulldog. Whatever made her that way must be something huge. Please, yes. I'm going back to work before she shows up from nowhere. No, she did. Me too. Oh. Should I even go this way? <coughs> you are in there, son of the great orator Kalu. May his soul. Live on. Yes, you are right. My name is Nze, but I don't know you. I am Princess Pamela, highly esteemed and most cherished daughter of King Ojadike. Oh, greetings, my princess. You may rise. But. My princess, what are you doing in my vicinity? Good question. My husband, Prince Charles Obimwa, is sharing some fantasy with your girlfriend, Imoro One. <laughs> Sorry to ask, my princess. <laughs> are you trying to tell me that Prince Charles Seen Binyelum, my girlfriend. I, I don't know this. I know. And that's why I'm telling you. 
And I'm sure with this conversation, you understand why I stopped you. Please, my princess, I'm sorry. Uh, I said my apologies. Huh? I give you my word. I will make her desist. I'm sorry. You better do. Ooh. Have a good day, young man. Thank you. So, Binyelum has been seeing Prince Charles. Hey, just because I'm not a prince, right? It's all right. We shall see. No. No, father. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being the commodity of alliance between you and King Gobimwa. This is not working at all. What do you mean? What do you mean by my marriage is in my hands? What do you want me to do? Didn't you hear what I just said? I have done everything I can. Stop telling me to make it count. I knew it. I knew you were going to take your side after all. You know what? Father, that's enough. That's enough. Since you want to be this way, we'll just talk later. Your friendship with Charles is beginning to affect his marriage. You must stop it. Charles and I are just... It doesn't matter. You have to stop it. Please. Auditor. Your Majesty. What brought about this humongous and reckless spending? Your Majesty, that is a statement of accounts and total expenditure the company has incurred for the past six months. But Your Majesty, is alarming the amount of money that has been leaving the company's account for the past two, three months. Which department is responsible for this? And who exactly is in charge? Your Majesty, Princess Pamela. She has been withdrawing without due consent and permission from the company's accountants. But why should she have access to the company's account in the first place? Well, Your Majesty, by the virtual the sensitive position you gave to her in the, in the company, Your Majesty, I think something has to be done fast and fast. Hmm. Oh. My dear Princess Pamela, the company's auditor informed me of the humongous and reckless spending over the last three months. What do you have to say about that? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I will not sit here and have this conversation with you. Pamela, you will sit down and answer that question. Pamela, you will sit down and answer that question. Oh. 
Pamela Place. She also informed me that uh, if we are not careful, we face imminent bankruptcy. What? In the nearest future. Dad, the company cannot afford to lose dive now. Pamela, why would you want to run down the company? Dad, you need to deliver of her duty now. You know what? I think I've had enough of this. Pamela! Pamela! Why do you not see anything? I've been wondering where I kept my car keys. I've searched everywhere, but still can't find it. Did you see it? No, 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 my friends. I didn't see it. I seized it. Pamela. You seized my car key? What's going on here? Huh? Your Queen Elizabeth said she confiscated my car key. <laughs> Why that? For what? The bank said we might be experiencing bankruptcy and everyone blames me for it. Simply put, I have to regulate the rate of spending both here in the palace and at the office. Henceforth, everyone in the palace will drive only one car in order to conserve fuel and I must be informed upfront. <laughs> and at the office? No, excuse me. Yes. You know how much I hate to be interrupted. But it's okay. Humor me. Tell me. What is the meaning of this bullshit? Um, Zubi. Hold on. You see, your reckless spending towards the company money does not warrant you to halt people's movement and confiscating their cockies. Look at you. Going around spending buying all sorts of designers what do you expect hey return that key i will not return the keys i will not i say return that key now i said i will not then come force me to give it she sees my car key <laughs> she sees my car key hey I am indeed totally disappointed in all of you. I mean, how could you? Huh? How could you turn my palace into a fighting square? For this indecent act of yours, I am going to punish all of you. Father, if anyone should be punished here, that should be Pamela. Why? Why only Pamela? You all constituted nuisance in this palace and you want me to punish Pamela only? Why? But you are delighted and spoiled her. Father, she is the architect of everything that is happening here. Anyway, um, Pamela, I am totally disappointed in you. Why? Because your son said so? Mm -hmm. Why must I be the only one 
to be at the fore of the hook all the time. Your Majesty, I was only teaching everyone how to be prudent in their spending. Really? No, no, Pamela, you're telling me confiscating Prince Zubi's car key is an act of prudence? Is that what you're saying? Your Majesty, I can see you're siding with your sons against me. Why? You're not fighting me because of them. You know what? My father must definitely hear about this. I won't take this. This is injustice. It doesn't make any sense to me. Go and tell God. <laughs> Prince Charles, why are you not saying anything? I mean, your reaction is so usual. You caused it. Father. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, ah. This girl is a kiss. Yes, coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Please, sir. Sir, there has been an ugly development at the company. What ugly development are you talking about? The workers stopped work for the past three days. The company policy states that they can only do that if their salary is not being paid for two months. And from the things Pamela told me... She kept the truth from you, sir. And what do you mean by that? No salary has been paid for the last four months, sir. What? For what now? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, sir. give you the reason. What stupid reason would make you withhold people's money for the past four months in this hard economy? Exactly the point. This hard economy. Why would they waste materials and resources during production and still come out with inferior products for the company? That's not true. I don't think so. Because most of these guys you're talking about have been working here for the past 20 years and they've never, ever wasted any resources. I will not spend a dime on incompetent people because as it stands, I will be summoned as to why the company is headed towards...